Hello there guys, welcome to my channel Dream to Animate. Please forgive me for not posting any video last week. I was on a small vacation, there is a festival called Ratha Yatra. So I went to visit my hometown and uncle's home. Normally I work alone here and maximum of the day I spend by sitting in front of my desk and working. I could not meet any friends or relatives while I am working. So these small festival breaks are really great to take a fresh breath and enjoy with friends, family and cousins. So we have successfully crossed 100 subscribers. I know it's too late to celebrate but I am really happy and thank you so much guys. I will make a surprise video soon. Please keep supporting me. Now move on to today's video. Today I will talk about onion skin which you can find at the bottom of the timeline. In the last video I said that I will talk about this in the next video. So this is it. This video will help you who want to make classical animation on Adobe Flash. So watch this video till end. Please thumbs up if you like the video and don't forget to subscribe this channel. Move on to the video. Let's get started. to animate. So if you see at the bottom of the timeline, you can see these three icons. First one is onion skin, second one onion skin outline and third one is edit multiple frames. So what is onion skin? If you peel off the skin from the onion, you will notice that you can see through it. That means the onion skin is transparent. But what it relates to your animation? Well. If you want to make animation by drawing each and every frame, then you need to see the previous frame to modify the current frame according to the action. Onion skin helps you to see that. To show you guys, I am making a simple animation of rectangular moving from left to right. So I make a rectangular here. You can see I have selected the rectangle. Now what I am going to do is. I am taking frame up to 100 by selecting 100 number and press F5. Now to move the object here, I have to insert a keyframe. To do this, select the 100 number frame and press F6. Now you can see the keyframe is here. I will drag it to the right of the stage. If you click on the onion skin icon, you can see the icon is now selected and there is a transparent object at the left side of the stage, which is actually object of number one frame. Now when you click on the onion skin, you can see this interval which indicates from what frame to what frame you can see. If you click this small circle here and drag it to number 1 frame, you can see the interval is now from 1 to 100. Change the interval according to your animation and from what frame to what frame you need to see to make the changes. Now let's make the animation more smooth by inserting keyframe and change the position of the rectangle. So I'm inserting a keyframe on number 50 and drag the interval to 100. Now you can see the transparent object of number 100. I am moving the rectangular to the middle of number 1 and number 100. Now it is at the middle of these two. You can see this is the transparent image of one frame and this is the transparent image of number 100. So, I want to make animation more smooth by inserting more keyframes and move the object to the middle of previous and next frames.
it becomes more smooth. Next is onion skin outline. It is same as onion skin but if you select this you can see only the outline of previous and next frames. You cannot see the full shape of the object. So I do not use it. Onion skin is fine to handle the job. Next is multiple edit frame. You can understand what it's used by listening to its name. That means you can edit multiple frame. If you want to change the position of this animation here, you can't do that. If I change the position of first frame, it only affect on the first frame. Rest will be there, not changing the position. To change all frame, you have to select this multiple edit frame icon and then drag the interval to the last frame. Now select all objects and now if you move the whole object to top, you can see all the animation has changed its position. So these are the uses of these three icons. You can make animation using onion skin. So this is it for now. I will see you in the next video and please like this video and subscribe this channel for latest update. You guys are doing an amazing job. I am really happy that we have crossed 150 subscriber. Please please support me to grow this channel. Thank you so much. This is Krishna and I am signing out. See you later.